highest number of cattle on feed in, uh, since they've been keeping record. That's a big surprise to the whole industry. To Well, we're coming here about four o'clock on Monday afternoon here at Joplin Stockyards. 4,800 cattle a day. Uh, market's pretty tough. You know, we come out with the cattle on feed report there Friday. We knew we was going to place a few more cattle in September than we did a year ago. But come out of 106 placements, 101 on feed, and the second highest number of cattle on feed in, uh, since they've been keeping record. That's a big surprise to the whole industry. The futures market come $7, $8 lower today, and last week it was 8 or 10 lower for the whole week. So this thing come you know, five to 15 lower, probably the spots might be 20 lower on some of those cattle, but it got everybody's attention. Everybody's running in panic mode now. I think a lot of those cattle are probably coming from where it's been dry there in Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, all across the South. Uh, you know, they've sold a lot of cattle all summer long and they just keep on selling because it hadn't rained there yet, even parts of Alabama, Southern Arkansas. So, you know, we placed a lot of cattle that we didn't uh, think that we were gonna place and it's put a lot of pressure on this market. So, uh, you know, this market sure got cheaper. As we go along here, it might just be telling us that we maybe they're already on feed. They're not out there to come later. That's a that's a pretty good possibility. What might happen? This thing might straighten right back up as we go along. But here in the short time, it's going to be a kind of a disappointing factor. If you got cattle, you're going to have to sell. But here the way they were selling here today, the real front end of this three to four weight steer calves, this bring 280 up to 310 or 20. Four to five weight steers, 280 up to 315. Four five to six weight steers, 265 on a tight five weight up to to 295, five, uh, 550 to 600 pound steers, kind of 230 up to 260, just depending on what they're worth. So maybe a few sets of them up to 270 if there's a green kind of long tail yearling. Six to seven weight cattle, uh, the sure true yearling one's part of them, bring 240 up to 257. Uh, the kind of the wean calf part of them bring 235 up to, to 255. Seven to eight weight steers, uh, it would bring uh, 235 up to 245, 250 on an outside set of them or two. Uh, eight to nine weight steers, kind of 232 up to 240. Uh, low to black, real nice kind of steers, weigh eight, 835 at 242 and a half. Uh, nine or a thousand pound steers, very few of those cattle around, but bring kind of 220 up to 228. Over in the heifer division, a three to four weight heifer bring 230 up to 260, a four to five weight heifer uh, bring 220 to 250, five to six weight heifer, 217 up to 250 on some real kind of strings of those sure enough true yearling kind of heifers. Six to seven weight heifers, 218 up to 240, seven to eight weight heifer, uh, 218 up to 235, eight to nine weight heifers kind of 195 up to 210, 212. Kind of pretty tough old market, pretty tough sledding. Everybody don't have any direction what to do. So it's a pretty tough old market to know, tell you the truth about today. And, and uh, maybe this thing will straighten up in a day or two. But good luck. We can do anything to help you. Give us a call.